we're going to talk about the three properties that we learned. We're not going to talk about the identity properties because those are super easy. It means adding zero to something means something doesn't change. Multiplying something times one means something doesn't change. We're going to talk about the commutative, associative, and distributive. The commutative property, think about like commuting. If somebody's commuting, it means they're moving from place to place. In a commutative property problem, that is adding three things together, two things together, five things together, a million things together, it doesn't matter. But that means when I put three things, seven things, and two things together, I'm going to come up with 12 things. With a commutative property, that's what says if I have seven things plus two things plus three things, I'm still going to get 12 things. These properties work because we're putting things in groups. The same property works in multiplication as works in addition because in multiplication, really what we're doing is adding groups together. Here we're just adding pieces together. Associative property means we can move the parentheses. So let's use the same problem. Three plus seven plus two equals 12. It doesn't matter if we take 7 plus 2, 9, and then add 3, we still get 12. Or if we take 3 plus 7, then add 2, we still get 12. Now these are the properties of addition, but like we've talked about a whole lot of times, because multiplication is just a faster way to do addition, we're just adding groups of groups together, the properties are going to work the exact same way. So if I took out my addition signs and I put in multiplication signs, class participate here. What's 7 times 2? 14. 14. 14 times 3. 14 is 10 and 4. So 10 times 3 is 30. What's 4 times 3? 12. 12. 30 plus 12 is? 42. What's 3 times 7? 21. What's 21 times 2? 42. 42. So associative property just means when we're putting groups of things together, it really doesn't matter what groupings we use, they're all going to turn out the same once we get them put together in a bigger group or our product or our sum. Distributive property is a little different. If I have 9 times 4 plus 1. Distributive, to distribute something literally means to pass something out. So, if I'm going to use my distributive property, it works in multiplication, because this 9 has to multiply either times these put together. So it's either going to be 9 times 5, which is 45. Or it's going to be 9 times 4 plus 9 times 1. What's 9 times 4? Uh, 36. 9 times 1? 9. 36 plus 9? 45. 45. It literally means to pass out a multiplication problem using what we have inside the parentheses. Good to go? Mm -hmm. All right, cut. Okay.